The University of Kentucky College of Pharmacy has a long history of innovation in pharmacy education, patient care, research, and in leadership. It was founded with some really fundamental basic research dealing with drug development. That has evolved over time and we are now particularly proud that we have areas of expertise including that in drug abuse, drug addiction, and treatments for those conditions. And we're very fortunate that this has been a long-standing interest by a cadre of excellent investigators here in, in the college and within the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Heroin use in the United States, uh, currently it's estimated to be about a million citizens who are regular users of heroin and about 8,000 deaths a year now are from heroin. We recognize this as a problem that has been festering and growing within our region, the southeast region of the U.S., but it's also a worldwide problem. I finally had kind of my day where I said I had enough of looking at CDC data and looking around to see what somebody else was doing to fix the problem. So we made a new formulation of naloxone and put it into a nasal spray unit dose dispenser. The beauty of naloxone nasal spray is that it is intended for laypersons to use in almost any circumstances where they would find someone where the overdose of, on an opioid is suspected. We can wake you up with this product well before the ambulance driver and the paramedics arrive, which in a city is 10, 15 minutes, but in particular for rural medicine, which is very applicable to the state of, the, of Kentucky, that if it took 15 to 30 minutes to get to you, that's a lot of time. In the United States alone, there are more than half a million people go to emergency department due to cocaine overdose. Right now, there is no any FDA-approved therapeutic specific for cocaine overdose or addiction. So we are trying to develop a larval strategy using the enzyme. The enzyme can be used to rapidly metabolize cocaine in the body and uh, uh, quickly eliminate the cocaine toxicity and prevent it further damage to the human body. Some of the emerging areas for us as a department and a college are drug discovery and natural products. This is an area where we have amassed a, a group of investigators from around the world, really, to be centered here at the University of Kentucky. One of the things that we've done since moving to the University of Kentucky is take advantage of the very unique environment here in the Commonwealth to explore for new microbes that might offer novel molecules. So we've been working with a number of investigators to access some of the mining environments. And once we, we purify these molecules, we then put them into the hands of investigators that have interesting uh, potential drug targets. We have faculty, Kim Nixon, for example, who's focused on alcohol research, and she's testing those drugs from the microbes from the coal mines in Kentucky as potential treatments for alcohol and nicotine abuse. That, that's an interesting collaboration that developed from two researchers coming at research with different perspectives, getting together to try to make new therapeutics for drug abuse. Of course, I love the discovery of science. Um, I think that's what fuels everybody day to day. But I really enjoy watching my trainees uh, learn to do fantastic, rigorous science and going out there and succeeding. Going into these huge, fabulous labs and, and developing their own independent research programs, that is just exceptionally rewarding. It's pretty impressive to me as the chair of the department to be awed by ideas that I could never have envisioned in, in my career, but all of a sudden um, a young student will say, what if we combine this with that and all of a sudden we have a breakthrough technology. This is the place where things are happening. Students, faculty and researchers get energized that this place is making a difference.
This College of Pharmacy building is absolutely the most beautiful facility to work in on campus in my opinion. It's much more collegial, it's much more engaging, and people share the, both their knowledge and their facilities and their resources to get the work done that we need to do. I think the structure speaks to our vision, to think boldly and inspire, to innovate, integrate, and improve health.